Hey there, I just wanted to do a quick update on where my Blender plugin was for Dark Souls, uh, loading Dark Souls map files. Um, so right now I've got the setup to where it works straight in Blender. You don't have to do any more converting to OBJs and then loading OBJs into Blender. Uh, still got some automation to implement, of course, but uh, so far it's a lot easier to get this going. So I'm just going to load a model here. Uh, for some reason right now they all come in uh, rotated on the x-axis 90 degrees and scaled or flopped on the y-axis so just doing a little manual uh, fixing of that and clearly something is wrong here right this is this can't be right what is this okay so you know what I think I typed in the scale wrong <laughs> hang on uh, scale y minus one there we go I don't know what I what I did and did I I didn't rotate it either, did I? Or maybe I did the I did the wrong way. Okay, so this I think I think this is the um, where you fight the first Titanite demon underneath uh, or near Andre. Yeah, so this is that chunk. As you can see, it all loads pretty well. I do think I have some face errors, and yeah, those are showing up right here actually. Uh, so I'm still trying to figure out what. Uh, that's about oh well, maybe it's only happening on the the lower level detail model anyway I've got to get to the bottom of that I think some of that will be easier to diagnose too uh, if I get textures up and going so as I, I imagine there are a lot of problems that are kind of lurking but anyway um, yeah it's weird I, I don't know but so I've still got some of that to look into uh, and then you can see on the doorway here there's some sort of I think some of this is a uh, the lower level detail model so maybe that's not a mistake. Maybe that's just, uh, you know, it doesn't have to be as persnickety with that stuff. But anyway, something I'm going to look into. Yeah, because if I get rid of that, everything looks a lot better. So still got some researching to do. Uh, okay, so let's look at a couple more models quickly. All right, um, let's do this one. Uh, yeah, let's do that one. I believe this is... Lost Eyes list or Demon Ruins, rather. Um, I've still got to come down here right now and manually change. Uh, I said, and manually change the number of uh, face sets per vertex group. Um, I had a, uh, some code for that. For some reason, Blender's not liking it, so I've got to figure out uh, what that's about. So select everything and rotate it. Scale it. And see what we have. There it is. Um, and most of this is showing up pretty well. Um, aside from that vertex issue I was talking about, I still have to implement uh, UV coordinates to the vertex uh, vertices, and then um, I want to do normal data to the vertices as well, since that's packed into the Dark Souls data. Uh, anyway, so and then that'll be the step, of course, to get it toward getting uh, textures to display properly. I think that's going to be probably one of the the biggest hurdles, just because I don't have any experience with uh, unpacking texture files, so I'm going to have to dig into that. And we'll do one more. Let's, let's see. Which one have I not done? Uh, this one might be good. Let's try this one. So I, it is, I think, occasionally loading unnecessary um, geometry like I have one file that was uh, loading multiple versions of the same type of thing so I, I've got to look into that as well so 25 i have got to open this in the hex editor uh, the one thing I can't do right now is load a file that has a variable number of face sets per um, per vertex group so um, so far so good Make sure these are all the same. And then once I get uh, that automated bit up and working with that, that blender quirk, uh, then I'll, that won't be an issue anymore. So it looks like we're good on that one. I've just got to change this to, it's already on one. Okay. So we'll run that. Add the object. I don't, I don't know what uh, object this is. Uh, 
Oh, what is this? Okay, this is um, the parish area. I'm on the back side of it right now. So these are all trees or bush textures. I think this is actually a, a distant uh, model because, uh, well, obviously there's the top of the church here is it's missing a piece because I think that's in another 3D file. There's Sense Fortress. Um, and then back here you can see where the, you fight the Iron Golem in this area. Um, and then up top would be in Orlando. There's the wall to the city. And then Duke's Archives would be up there somewhere. Anyway, so that's uh, that's pretty neat. So I, th I guess if I load the, uh, the proper files with this, they would be uh, other pieces that would add on to this. So anyway, that's an update. So uh, hopefully in the next two or three weeks, I have some time off between classes. Um, I'll be able to get some of these goals uh, these future goals out of the way uh, for this project because I really like to get this uh, the textures loaded up. That would be pretty cool to, to see. But uh, anyway, I'm having fun with it. So there's the update. I'll update again when I have something worth reporting. Thanks for checking it out.